Good evening. Welcome to Pax Christi Catholic Church. Today is the 23rd Sunday in Ordinary Times. In every age, God has called a people to himself. We hear that call today and we come to offer praise and receive God's blessing. Will you please rise and greet your neighbors? Let us build a house where love can dwell and all can safely live. Oh, a place where saints and children tell how hearts learn to forgive. Built of hopes and dreams. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good evening, Pax Christi. Good evening, Father. We are all Pax Christi tonight, and we all want to really give our lives unreservedly to the Lord. So let's ask the Lord for healing and forgiveness. You are sent to heal the contrite of hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. Receive our prayer. You are 
Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. Who can know God's counsel? Or who can conceive what the Lord intends? For the deliberations of mortals are timid, and unsure are our plans. For the corruptible body burdens the soul, and earthen shelter weighs down the mind that has many concerns. And scarce do we guess the things on earth, and what is within our grasp we find with difficulty. And when things are in heaven, who can search them out? Or who ever knew your counsel except you had given wisdom and sent your Holy Spirit on high? And thus were the paths of those on earth made straight. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. yesterday no it is in the past or as a watch of the night in every age of at dawn springs up on you, but by evening wilts and fades. In every age of your Lord, you have been our refuge. He chose to number our days aright, that we may gain Oh, Lord, how long 
that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. May the care of the Lord our God be ours. Prosper the work of our hands. Prosper the work of our hands. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Philemon. I, Paul, an old man, and now also prisoner for Christ Jesus, urge you on behalf of my child Onimus, whose father I have become in my imprisonment. I am sending him, that is, my own heart back to you. I should have liked to retain him for myself so that he might serve me on your behalf in my imprisonment for the gospel. But I did not want to do anything without your consent so that the good you do might, might not be forced but voluntary. Perhaps this is why he was away from you for a while, that you might have him back forever. No longer a slave, but more than a slave, a brother. Beloved especially to me, but even more so to you, as a man and in the Lord. So if you regard me as a partner, welcome him as you would me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So you can have the Lord be in be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to luke glory to you lord great crowds were traveling with jesus and he turned and addressed them if anyone comes to me without hating his father and mother wife and children brothers and sisters and even his own life he cannot be a dis my disciple Whoever does not carry his own cross and comes after me cannot be my disciple. Which of you wishes to construct a tower, does not first sit down, calculate the cost, and see if there is enough for its completion? Otherwise, after laying the foundation and finding himself unable to finish the work, the onlookers should laugh at him and say, 
This one began to build, but did not have the resources to finish. Or what king marches into battle would not first sit down and decide whether with 10,000 troops he can successfully oppose another king advancing upon him with 20,000 troops? But if not, while he is still far away, he will send a delegation to ask for peace terms. In the same way, any one of you who does not renounce all his possessions cannot be my disciple. The Gospel of the Lord. When Jesus teaches with nature parables, we all think, oh, that's so cute. Little, cute little lambs, amber waves of grain. When he tells stories about human beings, however, it's often kind of harsher. Think of the stories that he told about kings and landowners, and sometimes even about families, as we heard tonight. And in fact, in Jesus' own time on earth, he probably had to say to some people, if you want to walk with me, if you want to go up and down uh, Palestine, you're going to have to leave your family behind. But we don't have to do that today. We don't have to call, Mother, uh, I'm renouncing you before I go to church tonight. And so is that purely a lesson from the past? Or can we find a way for it to still teach us today? And I think I, with, with not much of a twist, I think we can. One thing that I hear as a confessor a lot are tensions in a family. And they're all about expectations. people having far too high of expectations from their children sometimes. Or a brother toward a sister. Or a child towards their parents. I had a conversation this afternoon with someone close to me. And their mother trying to give advice that was way too intrusive in their life at that particular moment. And of course, a lot of that result, results from the fact of having way too high expectations of ourselves sometimes. If I don't do A, B, C, and D, I'm not going to measure up. And I'm going to lay those expectations on my kids or whatever it might be. And so sometimes we need to have just a little bit of detachment from all that. From all those family stories, from all those family expectations. Mom, I know you have a vision of how you want my life to go, and I know that I'm not necessarily going in that direction, but I'm just not going to have this conversation with you all the time. I love you, but I'm just not going to constantly rehash these old wishes, uh, these old expectations, these old resentments. A little detachment. Can we do that? Hard sometimes. It's hard not to just keep letting ourselves be brought into the, some of those dynamics. And you know 
that I'm not up here saying, oh, guess what? If you don't agree with your mom, you get to be rude to her. I don't need to listen to you anymore, mom. No, I'm talking about when it's obvious that there's these expectations. They're too severe, unhealthy. Love you. I'm not going to be a part of this conversation. I'm not going to be a part of this drama anymore. I'm going to put you in God's hands. I'm going to put myself in God's hands. I think there's a way to understand when Jesus says, look ahead, see where things are going, and, dis and decide sometimes when you have to rely on me more than some of your own expectations or what others expect from you. Whenever I have this conversation, I always say, easy for me to say, hard for you to do. But I'm having that conversation, and I always hope and trust that when somebody has the opportunity to talk about that, it's the beginning of freeing things up. Once again, anybody that ever needs to talk, that's why we're here. Okay. When you came in, somebody tried to put a piece of paper in your hand. It's because uh, we're once again uh, offering an opportunity to sign up for our various uh, faith sharing groups and our faith study groups. And uh, so we, we distributed these last week and they've been uh, sent to you by email. And so now most of you should have a piece of paper in your hand that gives you an opportunity to sign up for one of our faith sharing groups. And when you look at the sheet, it just says, I'm interested. I'm not making my commitment yet, but I'm interested. Somebody will contact you. Those of you who have been long-standing members of some of our groups, such as the Women's Spirituality Group, you don't have to sign up again. Our, our singers and musicians don't have to sign up every semester. But some of the groups that we started last semester might be helpful to those groups if you just signed up again and to say, yep, I'm coming back. And every group on that sheet is eager, eager to have new members to take advantage of the different times, different days, different topics um, to, to study about and to share faith over. I'm asking you now, after this week of opportunity, I'm asking you now to take a minute and fill one of those sheets out. We haven't put pencils in the paper. Most people have a have a pencil or a, uh, something with them, ask the lady next to you. She'll have one. Do you have one in your purse, Bax? Ask Bax. She'll have a pen or a pencil. Let's take a minute to do that now. And whether you brought it with you filled out or whether you're going to fill one out right now, just put it in the collection baskets as you leave church. Okay? So, Feel free to look at that uh, that you received. And, and if you didn't get one when you came in, oh, I'm going to talk to my ushers. No, no, I'm not. They were trying as hard as they could. And you snuck by them. But take a, take a, take a minute or two to look those over. And while you're looking at that, I want to once again encourage you to find the table with the uh, uh, balloons because that's where to sign up to help out with the parish picnic in a couple weeks. If a lot of people sign up, then everybody only has to do a little bit and will also have plenty of time to enjoy the picnic. Please stop there and see the different needs that we have and opportunities to sign up. This coming Saturday is the annual Walk for Life and a couple of the ladies who have already signed up to walk will be at a table way over on the far left, and they are way in the back right now, Linda and Jean, and they'll be there to answer any questions about the Walk for Life, 
they'll be there to help you to sign up to walk, or you can make a pledge, uh, a financial pledge to support them as they walk it. So it's September, a lot of offerings, a lot of opportunities. We're asking your good attention to all that uh, we can do as, as Catholic Christians, your good attention to what the parish is trying to offer for our fellowship and growth. So these are the, these are the things I ask you to think about today. Turn in a sign-up sheet for our faith-sharing groups. Sign up to help at the parish picnic. Sign up to show your support for life. Louis will speak briefly after communion about the Bethlehem wood carvers. You may have noticed they're here this weekend. Let's make our profession of faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, an apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let's offer our prayers now for the fulfillment of God's holy will. That, the, that church leaders use wisdom and prudence to guide the world towards Christ's way. We pray to the Lord. That nation's leaders show justice and mercy towards people, even those marginalized by society. We pray to the Lord. That young people experience the power of the Holy Spirit while discerning a path for their lives. We pray to the Lord that all men and women make important decisions, pray to God for guidance. We pray to the Lord that all who are traveling this holiday weekend safely reach their destination. We pray to the Lord. Hear our prayer. That all gathered here today find strength in God, who, who has been our refuge in every age. We pray to the Lord. That the people who continue to be aff afflicted by the floods in eastern Kentucky feels God's love through the help of others. We pray to the Lord. Hear our prayer. For all those in our parish who need prayer and for all who are suffering, that they share the cross of Jesus and may also be anointed with his joy and grace. We pray especially for the Holland family's intentions. 
We pray to the Lord. Loving God, your Son call, calls us carry our crosses on our journey of discipleship. Be with us as we journey together, grow in faith, and trust that our and trust that you hear our needs. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Shepherd me, O oh God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. Surely your kindness and mercy follow me. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty and by partaking of the sacred mystery, may we be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you so love the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin so that you might love in us what you love in your Son by whose obedience we have been restored to those gift of yours that we had lost through our sin. So, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks. As in exaltation, we acclaim. fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. 
for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you, for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking in the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with blessed joseph her spouse with the blessed apostles with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him with him and in him O god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever Let us pray for the blessings of reconciliation and peace in the kingdom. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead, and lead us, us not, not into temptation, temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us share with each other a sign of peace. sins of the world. 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. shelter of the Lord who abide in his shadow for life. Say to the Lord, my refuge, my rock in whom I trust, and he will raise you up on eagles' wings, bear you on breath of time. Shine like the sun, and hold you in the body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The snare of the bowler will never capture you. The bowman will bring you. Faithfulness, your shield, and he will raise you up on eagles' wings, bear you on the breath of dawn, make you to shine like the sun.
Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and the heavenly sacrament may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And, and so now, Louis Hallow uh, is going to offer his invitation from Bethlehem Woodcarver. Good evening. Good evening, Louis. Brother and sister, my name is Louis. I am a member of the Catholic Christian family from Bethlehem, the Holy Land, from a small town called Shepherd Field, where the angel came and announced the birth of Jesus Christ. For the last many years, Pax Christi Catholic Church, hosting our group uh, for the mission of the olive wood sale from the Holy Land, religious item created by the Catholic Christian family who live over there. This mission is to help and support these people to remain in their life and to provide their home, to be able also to take care of their family. I ask Father Bad just to allow me a couple minutes just, just to share with you what's going on. Unfortunately, as we are a small Christian minority involved between two parts, they fight each other. It's unbelievable what's happening over there. Before the, before the pandemic, it was a violence. Now the pandemic is affected, and then now the violence. So I don't know what's happening in the Holy Land. I always ask everyone to keep the Holy Land Christian family in their prayer. Maybe one day the peace will come back. When Jesus come back, I hope so. So may I ask for your generous after the Mass, visit my display and browse my beautiful work. Maybe one of these beautiful pieces catch your heart. As a Catholic who believe in one faith, if somebody came to your door and knocked the door and asked you for a help, what are you going to do? 100% you're going to open your arm and give him a hand. Today our brother and sister in the Holy Land, they are knocking your door and ask you for your help in this challenging time. I understand from my heart that you purchased from us before, but in this terrible situation now, I would love to ask you to put your hand to my mission this weekend, because these people, they are waiting for us to wire the proceeds of our sales. Brother and sister, these people, they put their hand hard in this work to be able by the end of the day to put some food in the table to feed their family. So let's put the hands together also today and thank you so much for your time, for your listen. I look forward to meeting everyone at my beautiful display. Just a small note, Father Bat will be more than happy to place any piece you purchase it from my table for a free. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome, Louis. And remember, we can do a great witness by being somehow part of the walk for life. We can take care of each other and help each other have a good time by helping out at the parish picnic. And we would love you to be a part of one of our faith-sharing groups and so I would love to have your sign-up sheet in one of our collection baskets. Now the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless us all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be, to God. be to God. Blessed are the poor in spirit, longing for more. For God's coming kingdom shall, shall be theirs. Blessed are the sorrowing, for they shall be consoled. And the meek shall come to rule the world. May be Lord, may be Lord, by the Lord.
be my way, be my truth, be my life, my Lord, and lead me, Lord, today. Blessed are the merciful, for mercy shall be theirs, and the pure in heart see their God. to find the narrow